Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is V with Real Journal Talk. And so in today's video, I'll be focusing on my budget for December. So um, I did find this, I did download this simple planner um, from Shea Budgets. Um, I want to just test out another digital planner just to see how it will work since it's the end of the year, um, just to change it up a little bit um, before I even decide to go back to doing a paper planner for the first of the year um or still do digital sometimes um it's good to switch up because budgeting can sometimes get a little um boring um even though you're trying to stay organized but sometimes just changing up your planners um can keep you motivated so i am using this for this month and so i want to focus on um the color coded for the calendar that i have um, everything that's color coded in um, blue, um, sky blue, those are the bills um, that had to be paid out of my last paycheck in December. So those bills are taken care of. The ones in purple is for the bills for the month of December. So um, the two payday cycles will be the 9th and the 23rd. Um, and then I have um, credit union storage. Student Loan in Sirius XM, Home Depot, Credit Union, Truck Insurance. And then for down at the bottom, I put in my cell phone because it's due to first, um, the third of the um, next year. Um, and so I want to make sure I added that to the calendar because um, that's going to have to come out of that last check in December. So let's look at the actual budget planner so as you can see i have up here where this is going to be the income that is from december the 9th with bills to be covered until the 5th of january which is the day before i receive my paycheck for the new year can't believe it 2022 has gone by so fast we're getting ready to hit a new year new goals hopefully more success um with income just just waiting and see um but anyways so i have the payroll for both pay cycles which is a standard has been a standard for this year um the 1646.94 because i am a salary so that's after i've taken out retirement retirement insurance um whatever that i have coming out pre-tax has already done and so this is what i'm netting and that's three thousand two hundred ninety three dollars and eighty eight cent so now with the bills i am budgeting for my student loan thirty four dollars my truck insurance 131 storage 27.5 lights 420 and i feel like that's going to be more just because we're hitting the cold months and um i'm having to turn the heat up some days um, when it's cold, weather's in the 20s in the nighttime. Um, so that may change. Um, but I, that's just what I'm going to budget it at. Um, natural gas for cooking, I'm doing 2119. Cell phone, I've increased that because I have the family plan now. So it's $60. And that totals up to be $693.69. So with my regular expenses, I am still, um, putting money towards the project which is like house repairs that's 200 a month groceries i did increase that i was doing 140 at one time the 180 um now because we have this inflation and nothing seems like it's going we're getting a break from food um it's going up i literally just did grocery shopping last week and uh 18 count of eggs was five dollars and 61 cent not even the brown eggs it was just the regular eggs and they were five dollars and 61 cent that's ridiculous so i decided to bump it up another forty dollars so now it's going to be two hundred dollars bi-weekly gas for um traveling throughout taking care going to work um um, as well as grocery shop, the doctor's appointments, whatever I have to do. I was doing 40 and for some reason it never dawned on me that even though I'm not going into the office and I'm working remote, I still do other things outside of uh, going to work. So 
I've been using my card for gas, but it just never dawned on me that I was only budgeting $40. So I have bumped that up to $100 pay period per pay period. So it's giving me $200 a month. Um, personal is whatever I see that I want that I may need or just, you know, anything. It's going to be 80 that's staying the same. Kids for the chores is 80 Um, That actually went up. Um, I think it did. Yeah, because it was 10 per child. So now it's 20 per child. Um, cleaning, I was doing 30, then 35. <laughs> Supplies are getting expensive, just like the food. Um, so I'm doing 40 per week, which is 80 a month. Movies is actually just basically not for the movie theater, but actually for the Red Box kiosk. We like to rent movies from there. So I do $5 per week bi-weekly max for our furry family member he gets 40 per pay period um because his health insurance pet insurance is already coming out pre-tax so that's already taking care of this is like for food treats um or any type of toys or whatnot that's what that is for other i'm doing 8 60 19 it's because it's the month of december it's christmas you're going to be doing shopping um, for Christmas gifts and just buying whatever extra you need for this month, I decided to take that extra month, my, sorry, money, and put it in another category versus trying to save a good bit because it, you know you're going to be shopping for this month. What's the point of trying to save and you're going to pull it out? So that's the purpose of why that's so high. Because if you've been following me, that amount would now which was never high for just a other category of miscellaneous or whatever sirius xm i have a quarterly account i'm 70 so that's coming up and i have miscellaneous as a hundred just for cushion for um if something was to occur so with these expenses that is totaling two thousand one hundred sixty dollars and nineteen cent and that leads us over here to our savings category i always do 40 per pay period for the last year I was doing 140 that's good this is going to change for the new year this is where I'm going to be creating new goals um changing up the way I'm going to do with the budgeting finances savings but for, for since we're finishing out this year it's going to stay the same $80 credit union unfortunately um we had some issues with our vehicle had to had no choice but I got a little small um loan um because i had just paid this off so now i'm back i'm doing 80 per pay period which is 160 this is not going to take long to pay off um if i put my mind to it <laughs> next year it'll be paid off quick quick but it just depends um how i set my budget up next year because i'm trying to make sure that i'm covered for one of my sinking funds um so my home depot account i pay a hundred dollars a month I pay maybe $60 more than what my payment's supposed to be. And that's just because I don't want to have a high balance. Um, so that's two sixty dollars a month. Um, then we have um, sinking funds, and that's like for my taxes, property taxes. And I do $100. This is where I'm saying that um, depending on how I set the sinking funds up, I may be able to pay that credit union off again faster. Um but I, I, what my goal is, is, is to make sure that the taxes is set for the whole year. So I'll have that set up for my January's budget because I'm changing that up, like I just said. So that's $100. And so if you take in account all the numbers in green, the, um, the $693.69, the $2,160.19, the $80, the $260, the $100, that all totals $3,293.88, which puts me at a zero base budget. And what I mean by that is, it's not that I'm saying that I don't have any money. It's saying that every dollar has a, a spot, which means it's either paying a bill or it's being sent somewhere for a savings account. So that's a zero based budget. And that is my budget for the month of December. Hope you all enjoyed the video um, for my December budget. 
talk to you guys in the next video.